This tutorial is about clan getting started in 10 steps. Step 1 is preparation. You need a folder for your transcript and your audio or video file. Here's the folder and the video goes into the folder. And in this folder you also have to save your transcript. Step 2, open clan. It usually opens with the window like this, but it could also open with this window. Then you just close it, go to File, New, and then you get this window. The first step here is to save it, either as new file or um, test, and then save it in the same folder as the audio or video file you want to transcribe. And make sure that the file ending is .cha so that client can read it. Step three, you need header lines. There are four basic header lines that you need. The first one is at begin, then press enter and write at options, colon and a tab, and then enter CA for conversation analysis. The third one is at media, again a colon and a tab, and we will fill this in later. Then enter again, and the last one is at end. Those are the four that you always need. To add media, you can either write the name of your media file, then comma and video or audio, or, which might be easier, you can go to file, select media file, and then it shows the file that is in the same folder as you saved your transcript. Click OK, and here it is, added. That's the name of the video, or the audio if you have audio, and since it's a video, it says video here. If it's only audio, it should say audio here. One thing you have to be aware of is that there are no spaces in the file name. If you have spaces, either remove them or replace them with an underscore, because if there are spaces in the file name, then clan cannot read it. Now we need tires. Up here we click on tires and ID headers and here you can add speaker IDs. So depending on how many speakers you have, that's the amount of speakers you have to add. For this example we have two speakers and the language is English, so ENG for English, name code, speaker 1 or whatever else you want to use. And then we have to choose a role. And these are the three things that we need. The role, the name code, and the language. The others you can add if you want to. So click Done. And you see here the Add Participants header has been added and an Add ID header has been added as well. Now we need a second one, so we go again to Tires and ID Headers and say create new ID. It automatically sets it as speaker 2. Um, this is what we're going to use in this example but you can just change it to whatever you want to. And again language is English, ENG, and the role is again adult. Done. And as you can see a second speaker has been added here and a second ID header line has been added here. Now for some reason it changed the speaker one to father and you can just delete that and write adult and now the ID line is wrong so we delete both of them and click escape L and now it has added the ID lines again just click when you're done and now both say adult. You also need to run escape L to check that everything has been entered correct. For example, if instead of add languages we would have written add language and now we say escape L. It says down here uh, add languages tire is expected here. So it is important to make sure that it's written correctly and in plural and it has a colon and it has a tab behind it. Again, if we remove the tab and say escape L. It says missing either tab or space character. 
in, here it says 2 in line 2. So here, and this is tab, and then again escape L. Success, no errors found. Now we can save the transcript again. Click on save or command S, and we can move on to the next step. Step 4 is uh, select mode and transcribe sound or movie. This opens a new window and it automatically plays. If you want to stop playing, you have to click inside of this window somewhere. You can change the size of this window just by clicking and dragging it, depending on how big you need it. And the same over here. And this is the movie window where you can see your video if you have it and play it and stop playing it by clicking in here. And it automatically now added this line here because we opened this window. And this is where the speaker tire is going to be. Step 5 is opening the wave format of the video and we have to click on mode and sonic mode or escape zero. And now it exports the audio of the movie. Now it's supposed to show the waveforms of the audio down here. You can adjust the shape of the waveforms by clicking plus V or minus V to make it higher or lower and plus H or minus H to make it wider or shorter, like this. And then just set it to the size that you want to have it. Now step 6, start transcribing. You need a line before add end, like this one that has been automatically created. If it hasn't been automatically created, you just press enter after video and then you have a line here. Now you highlight a section in the waveform down here, like this, click and drag. Now you listen to it and see if that's the entire turn of one speaker. If not, you can press shift and click somewhere else in here, like I, this, I think think the eat a lot of and listen to it again, see if it's the whole turn. I, I think people think the Germans eat a lot of us. No. Now there they switch, so it could be around here. Shift. I, I think people think the Germans eat a lot of us. Uh, I, I think people think the Germans eat a lot of us. I, I think people think the Germans eat a lot of us. So there's a bit of an overlap here, but this is the first turn of this person. Now you can add a bullet either by clicking this little S over here, or if you prefer shortcuts you can press command i and now to put in the speaker id you have to see what the shortcut is go to tires and here you have both of your speakers and the shortcut for speaker one is command two and the shortcut for speaker two is command one if you don't want to use shortcuts you can always go to tires and then click on the speaker tire and it's added in here now we transcribe what she said and in order to do that, we can command click on the bullet. I, th I think people think the Germans eat a lot of us. And listen to it, and then transcribe it. I, th I think people think the Germans eat a lot of us. I, th I think people think the Germans eat a lot of us. Step 7, new lines, just click behind the bullet, press enter, now you have a new line, and make a new speaker ID. So again, either click on tires and speaker 2, or press command 1, and you have the new speaker in here. And then you have to find the next turn. You can highlight the bullet that you already have by triple clicking on it, and then you know it ended here, 
and then we know there's a little bit of overlap, so we start a little bit before, and then we listen to it. No, not at all. So no, not at all. And then she said something, so we go around here. No, not at all. No, not at all. That's the bullet. We click in the speaker line first, and then we click on this S or press Command I. And then we have this bullet again. We can press Command and click. No, not at all. And then write the next line. Step eight is special characters. You can open the special characters window by going to Windows and Special Characters. And when you want to use one of those characters, you have to click in the line where you want to use it. Then go to the window and double click and it will be entered in here. Step 9 is Overlap. You can see Overlap if you open the bullets with escape A and then you can see here this is the first bullet in milliseconds it starts at 308 milliseconds and ends at 2641 so this is the end of the first bullet and this is the beginning of the second one and as you can see this one is smaller than this one that means there is overlap and if you want to you can also click in here and fine-tune the bullets manually. If you want to indicate overlap, you can use the special characters top begin overlap, top end load overlap, bottom begin overlap, and bottom end load overlap. And then just click at the point here, for example, top begin, then at the end of the word, top end, and then here is the bottom begin of the overlap, and the bottom end of the overlap, like this. Step 10 is dependent tires. You can add dependent tires between the transcription lines and you do that by making a line in between them and then by percentage and then a three letter code. Most common is COM, com for comment, COM, then a colon and a tab and then write a comment and this comment is automatically tied to this speaker and this line. So if you want to make a comment for this one you have to make it below the speaker percentage com colon tab another comment. One last thing that is very important is to save the transcript regularly. You can either go to File and Save or you can go to Edit and Plan Options and set Plan to automatically save it after a set amount of characters. So you write in here the amount of characters you want to write before Plan saves it automatically. I have it set to 20, you can set it to any number you want. And if you don't want Plan to save automatically, then you write 0 to turn off the checkpoint.